Brooklyn. Jordan. A pass taken away by the Rockets. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. The offense has very little to lose on those type of plays if they know they can, number one, create contact, and number two, still get the ball up. You need to assert yourself fully on the defensive end by initiating the contact and not allowing the offensive player to get that ball above his waist. Westbrook into the front court. Leads up bucket. Down low, Capella rises for the slam. Whoa, he got up there. Just showing you that 40-inch vertical. Jay Williams, kid from Jersey, rooted for the Nets growing <laughs> up. And where do you live now? Brooklyn. Of course, I'm following my favorite team, and these comments are probably going to sound biased because they are. But Brooklyn is a completely different place. Only five minutes outside Manhattan. It almost feels like a suburb of the city. And the fact that it's culturally relevant, it just feels like Brooklyn is the new place to be. Goes to the right side. Harden. He drills the three. The challenge defending a guy who can be a one or a two. We're not old men talking about this game. We don't define players by positions anymore. Is he a one or is he a two? No, he's James Harden. He is a scorer and an elite passer. Durant. Yes! Three-pointer is good. You can forget about it when he uses that 7-5 wingspan to attack the bucket. Westbrook. Can't connect. Durant with the basketball up top. Down four. Kyrie lets it go. Deep two there. Won't go to Capella. And that's a backcourt violation. Irving to Durant. Irving to Jordan. To Dinwiddie. Kevin Durant lets it fly. And Tucker with the rebound. Westbrook. Kyrie across the timeline. Trailing by four. Durant buries it on the catch and shoot. He's a modern day big that plays like a 6 2 guard. Scale. Kyrie Irving. A great defense there, forcing the pickup. And a bad pass as it's taken away by the Nets. The pass taken away. To Capella. Knock loose. Nets have it. To Durant. Four three. Oh, he's three for three to start this game from downtown. Nothing the defenses wanted to get more stops, but boy, was that fun to watch. Both teams are on fire. But speaking of competitive juices, one of the beautiful things that we heard during the timeout in a team huddle, you heard multiple voices that weren't the coach saying how much more they needed to fight in order to win this game. Oh, trust me, the intensity level is going to pick up a couple of notches. Dinwiddie into the front court. Down three. Oh, the whistle. Jay, take your hands off of me. That's just a blatant foul. Maybe he's trying to make a statement. Coach is going to shift gears and adjust his matchups. Irving, now a steal as the Rockets have it. That's called game plan execution to perfection. Every possession on the road is critical. He's going to the free throw line to shoot. Aggressive play there, but you can't fault the defender for being up in the shooter. You need to contest shots each and every one of them. Two for two on that trip. Good shot, man. Irving brings the ball up court to Durant. Pick up, pick up, match up, match up. Green coming. Kevin Durant lets it fly. Ah, Kevin Durant. He's now four for six. Have we ever seen anyone like KD? He's the answer. No, he's the greatest offensive threat we've ever seen in the game. He has a 7-5 wingspan, and he's doing things that Russell Westbrook does with the ball. We've never seen it before. Harden. Oh, a whistle. Ah, uh, his timing was a tad bit off. That's it. 
comes from discipline and training. You can tell that kid's been playing in the time in the gym. Green, green. Harden to P.J. Tucker. Deep right corner. DeAndre Jordan rejects it. Out of bounds. Last touch by DeAndre Jordan. Mike D'Antoni changing up his lineup. to Westbrook going to launch beyond the arc and Russell Westbrook knocks down a wide open three great shot by the offense but the defense you can't afford to collapse off that penetration I'd rather a team take a tough two than a wide open three Irving to Durant practice leads to that nice pump fake. Kevin Durant dynamic once again. I'm giving it to you any way you want it. On the block, from the perimeter, mouse in the house, whatever the scenario is, Kevin Durant has an answer. Irving into the front court. They trail by one. From long range, Spencer Dinwiddie, no problem, contested, hits the three. And this squad just continues to light it up from long range. One of the things I learned about teams like this, teams that fall in love with a three-point shot, as quickly as they built the lead, is as quickly as they can lose it if they're over-reliant on the three-point shot. Durant, matched up with P.J. Tucker. The crossover gets inside, and the slam dunk. He was ready right at the tip. What a first half he's having. He came out out of the gate, attacked, found ways to get to the rim. Now look how easy the game is coming to him. Dinwiddie with the basketball. Two-point advantage. Oh, they called the foul. He took a chance. That's the right call. That's his first personal foul. Team foul number two. Irving. That's the first foul. The Nets going to take a timeout as they'll make sure they're aligned here in a two point can't give them that look. Well, when you play for each other and not just for yourself, that's when great things happen. You essentially lose yourself in what the team is trying to accomplish. It's called unselfish basketball. And there's nothing more beautiful than rewarding your teammate with a nice pass and letting them finish for two or three points. Kevin Durant with the rock. Ball, I got ball. I got so far. I got this plan. Let's go. Ooh, a bad pass as the Rockets come away with it. Tough looking shot there. Still gets it to go down. It just seems like one of three things happen every time James Harden has the ball. Either he scores, he gets fouled, or he kicks it out to someone for a three. Pick your poison. Durant, Capella's on him. Hey, we switching here, we switching here, we switching here. Quinn Capella able to recover with the block. Play is stopped. Timeout for Brooklyn as they'll talk things over here in the second quarter. Floor. 24 second violation. Russ at the controls. To PJ Tucker. 
count the basket. They gave him a look, and why not? Everybody in the building, including myself, thought that pass was going somewhere else. Fool me once? Okay. But well, you're definitely not fooling me twice. To Irving. To Durant. Oh, he had him there for a second. Clint Capella sends it away. Shot clock violation. So we head to intermission all tied up. And what's been a tight one from... We get rolling once again here in the third quarter. Westbrook with the basketball. Tie game, third quarter. Watch the screen, watch the screen. DeAndre Jordan ah, tips it. Just incredible timing on that swap. Kevin Durant has it. Can't get past the defender. Three-second violation. Harden gets it to go. Coach cannot be happy with that closeout. And a three-point shot of the offense applies so much pressure on the defense, you can no longer build your teams inside out. The new way, you build your team outside in. Irving, and a whistle. Ed, you can't lunge like that. That's his first personal foul. Team foul number one. Irving. Here's the ramp for two. And that's rebounded by Houston. To Harden. Inside the paint on that one. We're watching the clinic right now. We're watching basketball one-on-one. -on -one. Whoever this professor is, he needs to get paid top dollar. Durant sizing up Eric Gordon. And the rebound comes down to the Rockets. Fires the three. And Jordan able to secure the rebound. To Irving. Here's a chance from long range. And Kyrie Irving took the defense for a ride. Tough three-pointer. They're shooting the ball well, but let me tell you why. They're already ready to shoot before they even catch the ball. Look at their hands. Their hands are ready, providing a target. So when they catch that ball, they go right into their shot. We call that being shot ready. Harden. Beyond the arc for three. They have to keep him in their grasp. And I don't know why the defense continues to help on guys that drive. Make them take shots over your bigs. By you helping more, you're just leaving three-point shooters open on the perimeter. And he throws it down. Power play by DeAndre Jordan. Jay, let's see if that's a sign for him. Well, he's been pretty much non-existent the first three quarters. But when you have a play like that, that can get the juices going, and that can help you with your offensive rhythm. Dana Whitty matched up with Harden. To Durant. Not that time. To Westbrook. Let's it fly from long range. Buries the three. He's too good to leave that open. It's all about creating space with the dribble. Once you have that gap, you can beat somebody in a variety of ways. He chose a dagger with the three. the way he's been shooting. Shots no good. That big-time coaching strategy by the staff right there, utilizing their bench, keeping fresh legs on that shooter consistently throughout the course of the game. That reach was just about a second off. He got his hand in there a little bit quicker. That would have been a steal. Just enough in balance. Off the mark on the first free throw. No good on the first. No good on the second. 0 for 2. Out of bounds. Last touch by DeAndre Jordan. 
The opposing coach is going to counter, make some changes of his own. Number 35, Kenneth Fareed. Houston with the basketball. James Harden trying to cash in. Won't go. He needs some luck on his side given how they're defending. The contest was good, but you being a nuisance was great. Continue to be that gnat that no matter how many times you swing at it, it never goes away. Fires the three. It's no good. Shots not going down. Into the front court, it's Irving. His club's staring up at an eight-point deficit. Now the Nets going to take a timeout as their coaching staff wants to talk. Set to make some moves. It's going the other way. You go back to the principles. Things that we started working on when we were in first and second grade is called this. Westbrook. Ah, uh, passed it off. Harden buries it on the catch and shoot. I know he's a volume shooter. I know defensively at times you have to take your lumps. Might be time to adjust the scouting report, though. Start denying him the ball. Irving. Not that time, he misses. Hart into the front court. They can get a two for one if they hurry. And scores. Hey, one of the things I hear all the great teams say in the huddle, they say one, two, three, no mercy. Now it's time for you to go even harder on the defensive end. Kyrie with the rock. 4-3. Kyrie Irving. Consistent effort. He's at 50%. And in today's game, you have to make shots like that. Nice work draining it from deep. Deep three at the buzzer. Three quarters down, the Rockets the best way to describe where they stand right now is they're down, but they're not out. It's a game we used to play in the league all the time. It's called a series of stops. That means get three stops in a row. Each game is a game within the game. You get three stops in a row, and then another three stops in a row, you're right back in this ball game. Westbrook across the timeline. It's an eight-point lead. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. Durant with the basketball up top. Looking to make something happen. Play is stopped. Timeout for Brooklyn as they'll talk things over here and out about it. He has his team's attention. Durant. Oh, he couldn't get it to go. Great look and vision to Fareed. For three, he's been waiting a long time for that one to go down. You live by the three, you die by the three. And guess what? They're living large right now. Irving with the basketball. His guy's down 11. Going to launch beyond the arc. And the rebound's grabbed by Fareed to Westbrook. Nothing going here on that drive. Gerald Green. To Fareed. To the rim. Throws it down off the alley-oop pass. Jay, they make it look so easy. Yeah, but it's really not that easy. And as a passer, if your pass is just a fraction too early or a fraction too late, that throws the whole playoff. The timing of this has to be impeccable. Westbrook, down to Fareed, kicks it around the perimeter, couldn't keep it in, out off Kenneth Fareed. Substitution being made in this one. Number 
from long range. Textbook defense. And look, sometimes you don't have it going every okay. single night. Maybe utilize yourself as a decoy and get some teammates involved with your passing. Capella to Westbrook. Here comes the screen. Kevin Durant with a piece. Sent a message on that one, Ed. Fires the three. Always has a chance for Tucker, but not that time. AD with the rock. Here's a chance from long range. That'll be a winning formula in overtime every time. Answer a two on one end with a three on the other. Ed, tell me if I'm wrong, but I think a three is more than a two, correct? That is great math, my friend. To P.J. Tucker, beyond the arc for three. Oh, surprise. He hits it. And here's a setup, Ed, down the stretch. From a player who's been in these type of positions, eventually I'm going to hit you with a head fake, and you're going to have to jump considering I just made the last couple of threes. And that's when I find an easy way to get to the rim or force the defense to collapse the kick out for, guess what, another one. Durant against Clint Capella. I told you the screen was coming. Big finish at the rim. See, Ed, that's what I love. You don't need to conserve your energy. You attack that rim with velocity. You always set the tone. Durant across the timeline. Trailing by 11. Dinwiddie. Ah, that's a 24-second violation. For Brooklyn. Institutions are coming on in. Number 13, James Harden. And number 10, Eric Gordon. Westbrook, and a bad pass as it's taken away by the Nets. Tonight, it may not cost you, but in the playoff game, it will. Durant. He was all over. Shoot or shoot, period. I don't want to hear any excuses. That's why you're on the floor. You keep doing what you're doing with that superior confidence. Where's the chatter? No one was even close to him. Defense, do the math. You force him to take tough twos, You'll probably have a better chance to win this game if you can slow down the pace. Irving. Rebounded by Capella. The game is won in the details. The team who has the most attention to the minutia is a team that wins the ball game. And from the beginning of this game, this team has been mentally engaged. I know the season's a long year, but when you come mentally engaged and you have attention to detail, whoop, that's a scary thing to watch. Harden. It's been a good night from beyond the arc. He's five of six from deep. It's called room and rhythm, Ed. If you don't crowd him defensively, you allow him to have room, he will find that rhythm from behind the arc. Little r, &R has never hurt anybody, Jay. Harden in possession. His guys holding the big lead. Nothing going here on that drive. It's Westbrook. That's rebounded by Brooklyn. Long key from three-quarters court. It's the Rockets who are victorious as they win this one handily.
Action on EA Sports. I'm Ed Cohen. Great to be joined by Jay Williams. Should be a terrific game here tonight. Capital One Arena in our nation's capital. Tonight, the Washington Wizards play host to the Golden State Warriors. Might have had an extra dribble or two there, but he got the shot in there. Wizards have it. Wall matched up with the two-time MVP. Surveys the floor. Willie Cauley-Stein. Huge block. Don't stare him down like that afterwards. Curry counted. Three-pointer is good. And in today's game, you have to make shots like that. Nice work draining it from deep. Steph Curry against Mahimi. Trying to cash in. Deep two there. Won't go. To Wall. Throws it down. Ah, that transition offense was flawless. When guys fan out and actually fill the lanes with a sense of urgency. You heard me correctly. A sense of urgency. You will get a great shot every possession. Jan Mahimi sends it away. That kid can block out the sun, man. something that nobody will ever talk about. Did you see him slow down right before he was about to go up? That slow change of speed, that slight change was just enough to throw the defender off. To Thompson. Just enough of a head fake to help on that one. Learn from that. You got to be a step ahead of the offensive player. Know that fake is coming again later. Oh, emphatic slam. Some players are so cerebral. I'm not even paying attention to the dunk as much as I'm paying attention to the player pointing and communicating to everybody his team needs a guard on the next play down the court. Beal. He made his first effort, but not that time. Curry into the front court. Down two. Cauley Stein. Get inside. I don't know if the scouting report has made its way out here yet, but if anything, it says you need to not let him get that close to the rim. Wall defended by Steph Curry. in John Wall's game, Jay, that sets him apart. That he could probably finish with his left hand better than he could finish with his right. I remember watching him in high school. He was jumping off his right foot and dunking the ball lefty as if it was that easy. He can do it with both hands, which makes him way more efficient around the rim. Curry. Not that time. Into the front court comes Wall. Two-point advantage. The Wizards with four to shoot. Wall. There it is. John Wall. Three for four. Good start. We get a whistle and a tears and adjust his matchups. Come up with it. Come on, come on, come on. 
Wall, here again, Steph. Has a look. Five. Mm, so deadly. Now look, part of that is God-given talent. But the other part is that ball speed combined with that handle, oh, that's off the charts. But he always finds a way to slow himself down right before he goes into that shot. Tight space with the crossover. That misses with two seconds to go. The first quarter's complete. The Wizards out in front. So buckle up. It's wide open. Yeah, both teams have came out. They play with great energy, and they've also done an excellent job of establishing their own tempo. They have to make sure they have to push through that and do more of that in the second quarter. Livingston to bring it up. They trail by seven. How you practice leads to that nice pump fake. <laughs> the okie doke Let's see if he'll try that one again. Goes reverse to lay it in. Strong finish. That's what you need, regardless of contact, focusing on the rim. Livingston driving, but his shot won't go down. Alec Burks to Green. inside the paint on that one. And sometimes less is more. Keeping it simple is the best way. Wall matched up with Livingston. Goes to the left side. Count the basket. A lot of contact. No foul. Stepping east, then stepping west, and laying the ball right down the line. Covering all areas of the map. Shot from the lane won't go. And you hate to say this, but this is the reality of the matter. Sometimes it takes guys a little while to warm up into the game. Seems like they finally found their rhythm in the second quarter. Wall. And knocks it down. And Jay, the system produces once again. Possession lies with Golden State. Livingston gets it in the right corner. Baseline drive. Alec Burks to Thompson. The drive right to the basket. Yes, Clay Thompson. He's finally on the board. Makes his first shot. When the ball's in his hands, we are from both sides right now. Wall here against Steph. for Washington. Curry into the front court. Margins eight. 4-3. That's rebounded by the Wizards. Wall with it up top. He'll run the offense. To Beal. That's usually one that he'll knock down. Ah, Steph Curry. Not looking pretty. Three for ten. His instincts are unnatural, but what makes him so good given the work he's put in? The special thing about Stephen Curry is that his entire life he has practiced great habits. A lot of players practice and get up shots, but they don't practice the right habits, and that comes with the lineage. His father, Dale Curry, making sure that he puts in the time and effort, but the proper skill with the time and effort. Around the perimeter, Russell, too good to leave that wide open. D'Angelo Russell hits. It's all about creating space with the dribble. Once you have that gap, you can beat somebody in a variety of ways. He chose the dagger with the three. Wall, he continues to shoot it well from beyond the arc. That's four threes now in this first half. Yeah, and confidence comes from discipline and training. You can tell that kid's been putting in the time in the gym. To Green. Oh, he had it. 
Beal. Green always looking for the steal. A couple of cracks at the line now. Love the fact that the shooter created contact on the upper motion to shoot the basketball. Big time play. That's the first foul. First free throw is good. Two for two on that trip. Into the game for the Washington Wizards. Russell to Curry. Perfect feed to set up the basket. You normally don't see that, but that's the type of thing that keeps shooters in the league for a long time. Every once in a while, they venture into the paint. Wall against Klay Thompson. Beal. Find to shoot. Beal. Willie Cauley Stein able to recover with the block. Nice finish at the rim. It looks like he's using his ball handling to feel the game out. I know it looks like he's just playing around out there trying to get the fans going. That is true, but he's also finding his rhythm. Count the basket inside. You see, you can't actually get mesmerized by the ball. You actually have to focus on the dribbler's belly button. I know that may sound cheesy, but trust me, he can't go anywhere without his core. Count the bucket for two. No doubt about where that one was headed. Wall across the timeline. His team up by seven. Beal. And the rebound corralled by Cauley Stein. 19 footer at the buzzer. That's it for the first half. Wizards have the lead. The third quarter is underway. Into the front court, it's Wall. Lead stance at seven. Fires the three. And the rebound comes down to Green. Russell to Thompson. Driving right to the basket. Thompson on the drive, but his shot rims out to Wall. And the finish, slam dunk. I know there's that old saying that says one man can't be five, but we're watching one man carry four other players. His back has to be hurting. Another big time finish. Green to Curry. Green. Fakes, drives to the rim, and scores. Jay, let's see if that's a sign for him. Well, he's been pretty much non-existent the first three quarters, but when you have a play like that, that can get the juices going, and that can help you with your offensive rhythm. Beal, defended by Steph Curry. From long range, missed it. To Curry. Count the basket at the rim. Curry, obviously the greatest shooter we've ever seen. Yeah, I said it. But he's so good at driving and using his body to shield off the contact. Beal against the former Cougar. Gets it in the left corner. To Beal. Let's it fly from long range. And Bradley Beal knocks down a wide open three. And this squad just continues to light it up from long range. One of the things I learned about teams like this, teams that fall in love with a three-point shot, as quickly as they built the lead, is as quickly as they can lose it if they're over-reliant on the three-point shot. Curry to the basket, but it won't go down. Deep left corner. Knocks it down from mid-range. There's no stopping that. You either got to double or deny him the ball from the jump. To Thompson. The drive right to the basket. Yes. Clay Thompson. Consistent effort. He's at 50%. Attack mode isn't a switch that you can just turn on and off. He needs to do more of that. We need to see him penetrate, get into that lane, and create. Good there. 
Ed, I have so much admiration for guys that continue to hunt their shot. They're playing the second half like it was the first five minutes of the ball game. Those natural-born leaders are guys that will consistently lead your team to the promised land. And Steph, he can make that shot with his eyes closed. Wide open, knocks down the three. Well, easy difference there. In the first half, the offense allowed the defense to settle into their half-court sets defensively. And that's why the shots were all contested. But now since they picked up the pace of the game, they're getting a lot more action out of transition threes. To Russell for three, buries it on the catch and shoot. But it was how he created the shot. As a defender, there's a tendency to stand up when you stare at the ball. Offensive player recognized that, continuously moved without the ball. Bang, that's how he set it up. Yes, D'Angelo Russell. He's now four for six. D'Lo reminds me so much of Sam Cassell. He's not the fastest guy, but he gets where he wants to go anytime. The word that is key for him, potential, potential, potential. Will he be able to accomplish his potential? Time for some new personnel into the game. Wizards at the controls. Wall. Collie Stein with the rebound. He was hacked. They let it go. Yo, big kudos to the defender. It seems like his mere presence in the paint was enough to make the offensive player miss the shot before he even got off the ground. To a wall. Fires the three. Well, the hot shooting night continues. That's his sixth three-pointer of this game. And you got to give him a lot of love. He's been knocking down shot after shot. But what is the defense thinking? Do you want to play in this game? It's probably time you start buckling down. Curry all the way, but a shot won't fall. On the follow. Way to stay with it. That's what I'm talking about, Ed. It's that simple. Put the ball in the bucket. Wall. He's not shy about shooting it from out there, but he misses this time. That'll be out of bounds. Last touch by Curry. Time to shuffle things up. Wall into the front court. Up six. The crossover gets inside and the slam dunk. It can only be one of two things here. One, the defender ran out of gas. Or two, this dude is just unstoppable. Had a chance, but it's no good. Beal. Russell with it up top. His club staring up at an eight-point deficit. Yes, D'Angelo Russell. He's now shooting five for seven. You know, teams usually shoot higher percentages early in the shot clock. Plus, you take away the legs of the defense. You have to dictate the pace. On a bad pass. Going to be taken away by the Warriors. Curry with the basketball. The deficit is six. Here comes the screen. From the painted area, won't go down. Stuff. They'll let one fly from half court. That ends the third quarter. The Wizards out in front. And I think the best way to describe where they stand right now is they're down, but they're not out. It's a game we used to play in the league all the time. It's called a series of stops. That means get three stops in a row. Each game is a game within the game. You get three stops in a row, and then another three stops in a row, you're right back in this ballgame. Wizards with the basketball. Wall. That one off the mark. It's no good. To Russell. Nice pass to set things up. You know, Ed, I'm down with guys having 35, 40, maybe 50 points in the game. But the one thing you look for in a defensive end, when there's a huddle after a guy has dropped multiple buckets on you in a row, and everybody's quiet, nobody stands up and says, yo, I got him, I'm going to stop him. You're in a worrisome place for your team. Wall takes aim at Livingston to Thomas. Wall add another one to his total. That's now seven threes for the ball game. And the ball is finding him wherever he goes on the court. Man, that boy, he the best. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. Huh, he should get some kind of acting award. That's a great sell by the offensive player. But guess what? The refs bit, and that's the game. Can't convert the free throw. 
Washington basketball. Wall here against Steph. To Beal. Screen coming. Wall. That right there, Jay, his eighth three of the game. He is putting on a show. He's defying physics with that jumper. He's not even holding his foul through. Steph Curry up against John Wall. And scores. He has an uncanny approach to the game. And did you see that? His eyes are his deadliest weapon. When he steps over half court, when he looks at the rim, that naturally throws the defender off. It makes the defender lean just a little bit. And just that millisecond of you wondering what he's going to do, splash is enough for him to exploit. Shot clock coming down to four. Down to three. And the rebound taken by Golden State. It's Steph Curry with the rock. So Russell kicks it outside. Find me, find me, find me. Oh, if you're a fan, you love the will and the want. Out of bounds the call. Last touch by D'Angelo Russell. Looks like some substitutions are coming on in. Here's Wall for two. And two points to the board. Ooh, shows like this separate the good players from the great ones. The good players, they have good first halves, and then they fade the black in the second. The great players, they just sustain that kind of dynamic energy throughout the entire ball game. Now a steal by Washington. Tonight, it may not cost you, but in the playoff game, it will. D'Angelo Russell buries the wide open three. That's too easy. It just seems like everybody's getting more touches. I'm not saying who, but it seemed like the ball stopped in a certain player's hands, which forced the defense to become stacked. And they call the foul. Felt a breeze there, Jay. Welcome to New Age Basketball. You blow on me. That's a foul. It's Washington with the basketball. Beal defended by Thompson. Nothing going here on that drive. Oh, highlight moves. Tough to do with the defender all over you. Warriors have it. Wizards grab the rebound. Willie Cauley Stein with a piece. Just erasing mistakes left and right. to Smith. Yes, Smith. Better late than never. That was his first shot, and it goes down. Well, we got a chance to firsthand watch something be created. I think we just watched an epidemic of passing. I've never seen something like this before. It was so contagious, everybody started to do it, and it ultimately led to the other team's demise. If that's an epidemic, sign me up. Whoa! And Green able to pull down the rebound. To Russell. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. Knocks it down. Defender has to get there next time. We love to break this game down analytically. We even love to break it down more psychologically. But sometimes it's just about settling into the game. Seemed like in the first half things were rushed. Now we finally see them have their composure and their poise. Oh, you've got to get that one to go. To Wall. Ferocious slam inside. Now the Warriors going to call a timeout, but this game's in the balance, and time is of the essence. Coach has seen enough. He wants some changes. New personnel onto the floor. Russell against the five-time All-Star. To Thompson. Yes, Clay Thompson. Three for six now. That's a strong finish. Regardless of contact, finishing strong is key. Wizards have it. Probing the defense. Take stock of the floor. 
Wall to Beal. Going to launch beyond the arc. That's off the side of the rim, short. Right time, right player. Can't teach height. Thompson. And it's good. I don't know how he saw his man out in the cut like that, but that was nice. The Wizards are the winners as they just squeak this one out by a point. Intillating. The Red Rowdies are out and they're about to make a difference. And they're ready for liftoff right now from Toyota Center. They're drive by Westbrook, but a shot stays out. Converts in the paint. Nice finish at the rim. Contact on a drive can be a beautiful thing. Making those tough shots can really help you build a mental advantage over your defender. Strong finish for Paul George. I see the easy dunk, but what I don't see is energy. Scream, do something, get yourself emotionally involved in the game. Hard into the front court. Down four. Clippers have the rebound. No good and no foul. And physicality is your friend. Don't let these guys get any easy ones down low. Make them look at the refs wondering where the foul was every time. Kawhi Leonard missed his first. That one goes. And sometimes less is more. Keeping it simple is the best way. Rockets have the ball. Here comes the screen. Russell Westbrook. Tough matchup against George. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. That was such a great job by the offensive player. Knowing that you're probably going to take some lumps here and there, but still remaining aggressive throughout the shot and getting a crack at the extra point. Jay, upon scanning this Clippers roster, there are a lot of guards for Doc Rivers to work with. Yeah, they have a plethora of guards, and if I'm this team and if I'm Doc Rivers, I'm thinking about how do I throw as many guards at you as possible because Doc wants to get another guard in there to apply the same pressure. They should be the new modern-day Detroit Pistons with the style they play defensively. Westbrook to Harden. Nice pass to set things up. As my mother would say to the defender, A for effort, F for results. To George. Ah, rock in the rim. Mm -hmm. We call that get your money and put it in the bank. Hey, watch the screen lift. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. The offense has very little to lose on those type of plays if they know they can, number one, create contact, and number two, still get the ball up. You need to assert yourself fully on the defensive end by initiating the contact and not allowing the offensive player to get that ball above his waist. To Paul George. Shot from the lane, won't go. Westbrook into the front court. They trail by one. To the basket is Harden, but his shot's no good. And one of the most underrated things in this game is quick lateral speed. Good job by utilizing that speed and taking away the lane. And they call the foul. Careful there, Jim. Timing was just a tap it off. Curling inside. George, three for four. Good start. When the ball's in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. Westbrook. To Beverly. Nice pass to set things up. Ah, the monster stuff. If you didn't dunk that, then we would have to talk about it. Reverse to lay it in. 
The inner beast of Westbrook. Sheer determination. Mm, mm, mm. I don't think anybody got the license plate or not hit and run. And there is no one, I repeat, no one in the game of basketball with the first step in the explosion of Russell Westbrook. Harden to Capella. Fires the three. It's good. Coach wants to see more from his team. It's all about creating space with the dribble. Once you have that gap, you can beat somebody in a variety of ways. He chose a dagger with the three. Oh, they call the foul. Ed, you can't lunge like that. We have both squads set to make some moves right now. Team foul number two. That's the first foul in the last two minutes. Rockets have the steal. He gets it. Just wait a second, Ed. Wait one second. Can we go back to the play before this great play that we just saw? Just because you have a bad offensive possession, you can't allow that to go down and reciprocate itself on the defensive end. One bad play does not make two bad plays. You have to bounce back. That's how you play this game. One minute remaining in the first quarter. Kawhi Leonard looking good. Four for five. They're going to have to find answers defensively and quickly because he's carving them up in the first quarter. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Westbrook to the basket, but a shot won't fall. Nice follow-up on the dunk there. They have set the tone in this one. I love when I see offenses come out in beast mode. You attack that paint, you get to the rim, inevitably the floor will open up for you to knock down some threes. A oh, big finish at the rim. And last year, it seemed like PG really had a difficult time finding that next level elite PG. No doubt about it. This year, he needs to be playoff P all day, every day. And Jay, they called the foul. Ah, uh, his timing was a tad bit off. First free throw is good. And he makes them both. Leonard, a pass taken away by the Rockets. Westbrook to Rivers. Knock loose. Clippers have got it. From the painted area, won't go down. First quarter's complete. The Clippers have the lead. The shooting in that first quarter was white hot. It's got to be hard to think these teams can keep up that pace in the second. Yeah, I got to head to the back because I got to talk to the defense right now. You have to actually play defense on people to stop people in this league. Kawhi Leonard. He's now shooting five for seven. That's off of Leonard, out of bounds. So the Rockets hold on to the basketball. Hands up, hands up, hands up. Harden to Gerald Green. They've slowed down the pace. Now three on the shot clock. That's what you like to see off the pick and roll. Nice, easy basket. It's easy to become mesmerized when you watch a player who can create off the dribble. We call that dancing. When you allow a player to dance with that much space, that's prob city. George on the drive, but his shot misses. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. The defender was actually in a good position there. They even made a decent play on the ball. But sometimes those bounces go the other way. Still, stay aggressive out there. To Gerald Green. Gerald Green slams it down. Oh, man, did you see that swiftness? He dunked that thing like a tennis ball. It looked like that in his hand. To George, around the perimeter. Now a steal as the Rockets have him. Yes, and the 
foul. And a chance at three coming up. Hey, you ever bail out of something at the last second? That's what I saw right there from the defender. We call that no man's land. They weren't really committed to getting out of the way, committing a hard foul, or taking the brunt of the contact. Flippers have the basketball. Can't get past the defender. And he drains it. You see, you can't actually get mesmerized by the ball. You actually have to focus on the dribbler's belly button. I know that may sound cheesy, but trust me, he can't go anywhere without his core. Russell Westbrook against George. Screen coming. Right, 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 right. Nah, nah, I don't need no screen. Westbrook buries the three. And in today's game, you have to make shots like that. Nice work draining it from deep. Timeout called here by the Clippers as they'll make. It's the Clippers with the possession now. For LA, number 22. Oh, straight down the middle for two. It looks like he's using his ball handling to feel the game out. I know it looks like he's just playing around out there trying to get the fans going. That is true, but he's also finding his rhythm. Buries the three. He's too good to leave that open. But it was how he created the shot. As a defender, there's a tendency to stand up when you stare at the ball. Offensive player recognized that, continuously moved without the ball. Bang, that's how he set it up. That's me. I got ball. Yeah. Hit. Westbrook buries the trifecta. To Leonard. Harkless. And a whistle. Just a tic tac foul. The opposing coach is going to counter, make some changes of his own. Number 17, PJ Tucker. Four-point game. The drive right to the basket. Clint Capella. That's three now on four shots. Oh, man, you're not supposed to be able to do that with that size. But in today's game, dexterity and mobility are off the charts for bigs. Scores from the post. Jay, when you break down Paul George, where is he at his best? He needs to be engaged. He needs to have the ball in his hands. He needs to be needed. And that's the biggest thing for Paul George. When he's the guy offensively, he makes those clutch shots. It re-engages him defensively. And that drives him to be the best version of Paul George there is. L.A. Clippers with the basketball. Leonard and a whistle. his man down for the basket old school equals high percentage Westbrook to Harden beyond the arc for three so the first points for him in this first half and he knocks it down for three yeah they really need him to get going really surprised that none of his teammates have been talking to him this is when he needs him the most they have to uplift him help him continue to be confident on the court Westbrook with the basketball I got him. I got up five to P.J. Tucker. Nothing going here on that drive. Hey, you got the screen right. Screen right. Screen right. The short jumper won't go down. Williams into the front court. He'll run the offense. And look out. Big finish at the rim. That's the intensity you need to see. Whenever a player running back on defense after a dunk like that holds the inside of his forearm and lets you know how hard he dunked that basketball. George to Leonard. Russell Westbrook able to recover with the block. Westbrook with it. His guys should be able to get the final shot. 
James Harden trying to cash in. He had all day and all night to knock that one down. Need to hear more chatter on the defensive end. Clint Capella swats it. That'll do it for the first half with the Rockets in front. Gordon with it. Leads five. With a drop step. With the basket after a nice drop step. And I have so much admiration for guys that continue to hunt their shot. They're playing the second half like it was the first five minutes of the ball game. Those natural born leaders are guys that will consistently lead your team to the promised land. Westbrook buries it on the catch and shoot. And watching all these great shooters on the floor once, it almost mesmerizes me. It's like you're watching the shot in slow motion. The backspin, it gives off the feel that the ball's going in every time. Leonard. Fires the three, shakes free, and hits. As a defender, you should take it personally when a contested three goes in. That's good defense, but it's not good enough. Westbrook. Wow, look at him die for the loose ball. Oh, ferocious slam inside. I don't think I could do that on a five-foot rim. I can, because that's my only choice. <laughs> that's off of Leonard, out of bounds. It stays with Houston. Harden against Paul George. Couldn't keep it in. Off James Harden. Paul George. Capella. Almost unlucky bounce. To Leonard. Off the assist. Mm. I remember my high school coach said, one man can't beat five. Well, I'm telling you right now, he lied. I'm watching it happen in person. To Capella. Westbrook shot won't go on the drive. That's superb defense. That's a defense getting there from the weak side early and making the player short on the shot. Layup's good. Those are the types of shots you always strive for. You normally don't see that, but that's the type of thing that keeps shooting just to his lineup. Hey, big screen right there. Westbrook to Harden. Going to launch beyond the arc with James Harden, muscle memory. Gets it to go. The challenge defending a guy who can be a one or a two. We're not old men talking about this game. We don't define players by positions anymore. Is he a one or is he a two? No, he's James Harden. He is a scorer and an elite passer. Westbrook across the timeline. Our score all even in this third quarter. Just enough of a head. Tony changing up his lineup. Russ at the controls. Let's it fly from beyond the arc and knocks it down. And here's a setup, Ed, down the stretch. From a player who's been in these type of positions, Eventually, I'm going to hit you with a head fake, and you're going to have to jump considering I just made the last couple of threes. And that's when I find an easy way to get to the rim or force a defense to collapse the kick out for, guess what, another one. Russell Westbrook against George to Leonard. With a drop step. Finishing inside the paint on that one. Ooh, shows like this separate the good players from the great ones. 
The good players, they have good first halves, and then they fade the black in the second. The great players, they just sustain that kind of dynamic energy throughout the entire ball game. George to Harkless. Working the outside. Defense, making the ball handler work. Gets it in the right corner to Williams. Paul George. And he knocks it down at the line. George to Williams. Down to five on the 24. From the painted area, won't go down. Westbrook into the front court. His guys now trailing by a point. Count the basket. They gave him a look. And why not? You know, from a point guard perspective, one of the things that I learned when I played in the league was that the more I was willing to give the ball up, the harder other players were willing to run to their spots. The harder the bigs were running to the rim. The harder the three-point shooters were running to the three-point line because they knew they could be active recipients. And when they caught the ball, they knew exactly what to do with it. To P.J. Tucker. Able to convert inside. In the paint, you need to finish just like that. Clippers have the basketball. Strong finish for Paul George. Neither side is giving up an inch. I guarantee you tomorrow on Complex's social feed, that play will have millions of views. And I'm really looking forward to this fourth quarter because the first three have lived up to the bill. Ooh, he sent that one to the third row. He was locked in. That was impressive. Bad pass there. Clippers have it. Third quarter comes to an end. The Rockets with the lead. It's the Rockets in control of the basketball as we start the fourth quarter, and they'll be looking to finish strong. And when you play stingy defense on one end, the other end takes care of itself. Harden buries the wide-open three. That's too easy. And this squad... One of the things I learned about teams like this, teams that fall in love with a three-point shot, as quickly as they built the lead is as quickly as they can lose it if they're over-reliant on the three-point shot. Harden in possession, leads one, goes to the right side, lets it fly from long range, they dared him, and he burns them. Just because someone is listening to you doesn't mean that they actually hear you. At the end of the game, when players get tired, they listen to what the assignment was, but they didn't hear what it was. Westbrook into the front court, leads four. To the rim, lays it up and in. This is why I go back into player mode. If the dude starts to try to have 40 points on me, I'm going to foul out. I'm going to start hitting him in places he's not used to being hit. I'm trying to do anything to throw him off his game. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. The defender was actually in a good position there. They even made a decent play on the ball. But sometimes those bounces go the other way. Still, stay aggressive out there. Whoops, that won't go. Tucker to Westbrook. 4-3. Had made his first three, but that shot off the mark. To Beverly. Shot from in close, no good. James Harden at the controls. Capella to Westbrook. The pass taken away by the Clippers. Tonight, it may not cost you, but in a playoff game, it will. Big finish at the rim. And when you get your prescription, you take your medicine and you call it a day. I got ball, I got ball. I got some for him. Two-point shot for James Harden. Can't connect. Capella to Harden. Here's a chance from long range, and it's Leonard there to clear the rebound.
to Harkless. For two. You know, Ed, I'm down with guys having 35, 40, maybe 50 points in the game. But the one thing you look for in a defensive end, when there's a huddle after a guy has dropped multiple buckets on you in a row and everybody's quiet, nobody stands up and says, yo, I got him, I'm going to stop him, you're in a worrisome place for your team. Slam dunk! And no emotion, just that ice-cold stare. That's a sign of somebody who's here to compete. Harden to Capella. Can't miss those. To Beverly. Two minutes left. The now the Clippers call a timeout. That's their first line substitutions. Both teams making changes. George shot off the mark. Good defense. Oftentimes, one of the ways to negate one of the best shooters in the game is to make him work off the ball. By making him work, you're taking his legs away from that shot. Rockets in control of the basketball. Hard matched up with Paul George. Here comes the screen. Harden to Capella. Flashes it home. It's that easy, Ed. You never want to leave any doubt when attacking the rim. So Leonard. And throws it down. That might have been a little bit easier than expected there, considering the score. For three, not easy. They absolutely needed that. Great job by the offense to be poised and create a shot to pull ahead. Leaving no doubt. Slams it down. An easy two. Get back on defense. Harden to Capella. Oh, well, he had it. To Capella. To PJ Tucker. That's what you like to see off the pick and roll. Nice, easy basket. The defense should have picked up on that action. That's going to cost him. P.J. Tucker uh, tips it. Ed, that's light work for a guy with his ability. Rockets come up with it. I tried to work the clock here, but you have to take care of the ball in this possession. He throws it down. You know, Ed, the effort is what concerns me the most. Effort is replenishable. If you're tired, raise your hand, check yourself out. Get somebody who actually wants to get back in transition and play some defense. That will help your team win the game, not you just staying in the game to be better on offense. Now the Rockets will use a timeout. It's just their first of the final three minutes. That leaves them with one more. Looks like both teams are making substitutions. Russell Westbrook against Paul George. And count the basket inside. Ooh, he teased me a little bit right there. But see, I like that. That's called the great entertainer. Always leaving me on the edge of my seat. Westbrook. To P.J. Tucker. Harden. To P.J. Tucker. P.G. lets it fly. Wide open look won't go. It's the Clippers who come away with the victory. As they win a close one by two. For Jay Williams and all our crew, I'm Ed Cohen saying so long for now. This has been a presentation of the NBA on EA Sports.